Installment 7 in my geologic time scale series, the Permian period. The Permian lasted 299 to 251 million years ago. It was the last period of the Paleozoic era where the climate was very warm, ending the Carboniferous Ice Age. Because of this warm climate, reptiles were able to diversify. These reptiles evolved into proto-mammals called synapsids, which became the dominant land vertebrates. There were many apex predators like the Dimetrodon, Inostrancevia, and Antiosaurus. Herbivores on land grew large as well, such as the Tapanocephalus, Moss Chops, and Scutosaurus. All of these are ancestors of modern mammals. Amphibians were thriving as well, with the giant Prionosuchus, the longest amphibian ever, growing up to 30 feet, or 9 meters long. Sharks and other cartilaginous fish remained the dominant groups in the oceans, and the entire Earth was one supercontinent and one ocean, the continent being Pangaea and the ocean being Panthalassa. Climates were very extreme, especially near equatorial areas, along with extreme seasonal changes. Conifers evolved during the Permian period. The Permian ended with the End Permian Extinction, also known as the Great Dying, a mass extinction that wiped out about 90% of marine species, along with approximately 70% of all terrestrial species. This was caused by global warming, volcanic activity, and changes in ocean chemistry. Well, that's a time when proto-mammals ruled the land and were pretty terrifying. It's often regarded as the only time when the ocean wasn't more dangerous than the land. Be sure to like and subscribe.